Hello everyone. Let us solve this problem completely. We have y to the power of 2 equal to 1 over y. This is very simple, right? Because we know what to do, this can be over 1. So what we'll do is we'll cross multiply so that y to the power of 2 will be multiplying y which will be equal to 1 times 1 and that will give 1. Note that this is also to the power of 1, okay? Although we don't normally write this. Now pick one of the bases and then we have 2 plus 1 which is 3. This will be equal to 1. And the question says we should solve this completely so we're going to have y to the power of 3 to be equal to y to the power of 3. y to the power of 3 means 1 to the power of 3 is the same as 1. Now bring this to the left as we have y to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 equal to 0. From here we apply this standard. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b multiplying a squared plus ab plus b squared, right? Now, these are the same thing. So, from here, we can now bring this into this. So, our a now is going to be y. So, I write y minus b is 1. Close this. Then the second factor, a squared, that will be y squared plus ab, that will be 2, okay, a is actually y, okay, so that means we have y, then multiply by b, or b is 1, then plus, here b is also 1, so we have 1 squared, so this is what we have, let me change this. So from here now, this will be equal to 0. So y minus 1 is the first factor. Then the second is y squared plus 1 times y times 1 is going to be y. Then plus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to 0. From here, we can apply our 0 product true. But do not forget that, okay? we are going to apply zero product rule and this rule says that if you have a multiplied by b to be equal to zero right so it is either zero times b is equal to zero or a times zero is equal to zero so this means that um Either this or this will be equal to what? Zero. So let's work with this linear expression. So y my, to the power of, um, okay, there's no need for the um, power one there because it's the same thing. y minus one is equal to zero, meaning that y is equal to zero plus one. And then from here, uh, y will be equal to one. So this is the first value of y, and it is a real solution. Now, to get the other value of x, let me divide this. I mean, the other value of y, I'm going to pick this quadratic expression here, and it is y squared plus y plus 1 equal to 0. From here, remember that we can say that our a is equal to 1, the coefficient, um, the coefficient of um, y squared, b is equal to 1, the coefficient of y, and then c is equal to 1 as well. Now, put all of this into the equation, or the formula rather, which is y equal to minus 1, or minus b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. Now, y is what we are looking for, and it's equal to minus b becomes minus 1 plus or minus, then b squared, that will be 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times c. Because a is 1 and um, b is equally 1. Now, to continue from here, we divide this by 2 times 1 because a is also 1. This means that y here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus. We have square root of 1 minus 4. This is because 1 squared is 1 and 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. The whole of this will be divided by 2. Now, y here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus. In here, I will have minus 3. And this is over 2. So we're going to continue from here very quickly. Okay, so we have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 over 2. This is the same thing as y being equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This will be over 2. And what I've done here is to pick out this negative. If I open this, you have this back. Or if I multiply this, you, you're going to have this back, right? So y now will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 multiplied by here we're going to have i and this i is um, the square root of negative 1 okay so that this will be divided by 2 now we can arrange this better so that this will come before this now this means that y here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 all over 2. But this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's break it into 2. In fact, let's, let me get all the 3 solutions right away. Now, from what we got before, we had our y1, which is equal to 1. Now, y2 will be equal to what we have over here, which is minus 1 plus Okay, I'm going to pick plus first, minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2. Now, our y3 is minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2. So these are the three solutions to the problem. But remember that it is only the first solution that satisfies the given equation.